Hi friends and welcome back to my channel, Joyful Jessie. Today I am so excited to share with you this super easy, super simple dessert called tembleque. And you're gonna love it because it takes like 10 minutes to put together and you get to enjoy it later on. So not only is it easy to make, but it is also gluten free, which for me is a win-win. So make sure to stick around and watch. So it is the most coconuttiest time of the year in the Puerto Rican culture. We people from the tropical island of Puerto Rico are obsessed with coconut. We love coconut. I mean, at least I do, and my family does. So I'm speaking for at least my family. <laughs> we have coconut, like a popsicle type of limbe thing. We have coconut cookies, coconut drinks, rice, arroz con dulce coconut desserts, besito de coco. We have coconut flan. I mean, we have coconut everything. Coconut is awesome. Especially during this time of year, the winter months, you know, with all the festivities, all the holidays and whatnot, people go crazy with coconut. They, everything is coconut, all right? All the desserts are made. And of course you use coconut milk, you use coconut flakes, all the sorts of stuff. Now, I don't do all that. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I, I don't know how to make arroz con dulce. Um, I went over to my mom's house the other day though, and she had some that my aunt had made. It was good. One of the things that I absolutely love about all these desserts is that the majority of them are gluten free. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you one of my favorite and super easy to make desserts, and that is called tembleque. And tembleque is a wobbly dessert. I personally love to make it because it's super easy, super simple, and it's gluten free. So when I eat it, I'm completely worry free. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, my friends, these are the only ingredients that we are going to be using to make this amazing and delicious tembleque dessert. We're going to be needing about two thirds a cup of sugar. We're going to be using about half a cup of the cornstarch, two cans of the coconut milk. We're going to definitely be needing a pinch of salt. Do not skip the salt, okay? The salt gives it like that extra, I don't know, it's just not the same without the pinch of salt. So make sure to have a little pinch of salt. We're going to be needing some ground cinnamon for the little garnishing on the top, very important. And I like to use the coconut sweetened flakes to garnish it on the top. You can skip this if you want. This is absolutely optional. This is just what I like to add as well. You are going to need a whisk to whenever we are mixing our ingredients together to prevent it from lumping. A container to put it in. You can just use the aluminum foil containers. I have these glass ones that I got like forever ago for like 25 cents. So I use these. And then you are going to be needing a saucepan. And this is where we're going to be cooking our tembleque. Any little saucepan would work just fine. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'm first going to begin by adding my dry ingredients. So I'm gonna start with my two thirds of my sugar. Then I'm going to add my half a cup of cornstarch. And the cornstarch is very important. That's what gives it that nice wobbliness. And we're gonna add our little pinch of salt. Once we have our dry ingredients in our pot, we're gonna whisk them all together. All right, we're going to start adding now our coconut milk and we want to do this while it's cold. We don't want to put this in the heat yet because the cornstarch will lump up. So I'm going to start by mixing it in a little bit at a time and I'm going to be whisking. Once I'm done with my one can and I did my whisking, I'm going to go ahead and do my second one. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I have my milk and my dry ingredients all mixed together, now it's time to go ahead and cook it. So I'm gonna go to the stove and I'm gonna place it at a medium heat. I'm gonna turn my heat up to a medium. And I'm just gently moving it around. I want those lumps to not form. Cornstarch can get very lumpy um, if, if you heat some, if you put it in straight up heat very quickly. So I'm simply going to cook it for about five to eight minutes, depending how it is. Okay, so I'm about four minutes right now, and this is what it's starting to look like. It's getting thicker, it's thickening, it's not as loose as it was. Should be leaving like a nice little trail behind okay you see this that means it's done so I cooked mine for about six minutes now I'm gonna take it off the heat and I'm going to get my molds ready all right so something that I like to do is I like to run my mold under cold water and this will just cool them off so that when I put the warm then blanket in there I'm pretty certain that they're not going to stick to the bottom of it. Okay, I'm go ahead and bring these over. You're gonna see that nice thick consistency. Now I'm gonna take my two tembelecas, they are ready to be refrigerated. I'm going to either use saran wrap or um, aluminum foil, whatever you guys have readily available, and I'm going to cover the top of it. I am not the best with saran wrap. There's some people that are really good. My mother-in-law is amazing. She wraps everything so nicely in saran wrap. I always struggle with it. <laughs> I don't have that gift. Okay, I'm gonna take these two and I'm going to place them in the refrigerator, I'd say for about three hours or more until they set. All right, Tembleque. friends, so now it's time to unmold our tembleque. Our tembleque has been chilling in the refrigerator for about eight hours or so. Um, you're going to notice that when you take it, it's very easy to peel the corners off. You see that? I'm still gonna take my butter knife and I run it through just to make sure. And I have my little one in here who absolutely loves tembleque. You love tembleque, don't you? Yes. She thinks it's like the yummiest thing ever. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> All right, and that is what my tembleque is starting to look like. So even, see how jiggly and wobbly it is? Wobble, 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 wobble. <laughs> really? Wobble, so wobble. Bouncy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is very bouncy. Okay. What we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and garnish it a little bit. We're going to use some of our coconut flakes. Yeah, I like coconut. Yeah, Maymay loves coconut. It's and so we. Sweet. It is quite sweet. And we're going like to take it. it and just garnish it around. Mommy. Yeah, you love this coconut, huh? Yeah. Going to be taking Ooh, my, I, like oh, I know you like cinnamon too. I'm gonna to be taking my cinnamon. Now I'm just going to powder some on the top. So now we're gonna serve these. I have a tiny little plate for them. And I'm gonna cut a little bit. I like the blanket. You like the blanket? <laughs> Yummy, huh? 
like it. You like it? Now it's mommy's turn to give it a try. It's almost like you have the inside of the coconut, except it's not like super hard or anything. Definitely good. Definitely something you need to give a try. If I can do it, so can you. Go ahead and give this awesome traditional Puerto Rican dessert a try and let me know what you think. Once again, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.